Hey guys and welcome to the Derby Career Red Live episode number 30 and in this episode we have got some fantastic games. The first one is against Arsenal, then we're playing Hull, then we're playing Lokomotiv Moscow in the Europa League and hopefully we can get a better result and the last game because we did um, win that one 3-0 but unfortunately we drew the first one so if we win that next game I think we'll be really confident in a good position. So first game is against Arsenal, a fantastic game to kick off this episode and um, we have made a change to the first team lineup so I'm going to quickly show you that and we have actually put Brady into the first team because he's in absolutely fantastic form at the moment so moving into onto the bench he is obviously lower rated so it kind of makes sense but at the same time i would quite like to keep Ince in the team but for the time being we're going to keep brady in because he's in fantastic form we're just going to make one change and that is going to be you can for deli ali in the midfield just because um he's a bit low on fitness and i like to mix up the team sometimes into the game we go against arsenal at the uh, pro stadium we should be able to get a nice result at least a draw from this game but you never know, Arsenal made uh, some really good signings, so they will be a very difficult team to beat. I think we actually beat them 4-1 on the last day of the season last year, so there's only a point between us. And if we do win this game, we do go up to second, maybe, potentially, if um, Chelsea do lose their game. So we'll see if we can win this game and get some good points on the board. Here is the Arsenal team. Ospina, Chambers, Koscielny, Gabriel, or Gabriel, I'm not too sure, uh, Monreal, Arteta, Coquelin, uh, Ramsey, Campbell, Welbeck, Sanchez. So... There are a few weaker players, there is um, Jovetic on the bench who is a new signing, but apart from that it's a basic Arsenal team. Wouldn't really want to play like Arteta and Campbell, but apart from that it's quite a good team in that Arsenal lineup. Sanchez working a bit of stuff here, Ramsey's back healing it to Welbeck, oh and it's a goal straight away. I could just tell that was coming because the way Sanchez was like dangerously getting into the box and then eventually gets it across to Ramsey, nice pass from him, bit too much space maybe, um, could have closed the centre backs in a bit closer. but. Yeah, we got plenty of time to get back into the game, and we didn't really have much of the ball. Come on, Abubakar. Go on, cut, finesse. No, he's missed the target. How has he done that? What is that? That is, like, on a plate, and he somehow missed it. I should have mashed it as hard as I could at the keeper, but I don't know. No, we've just taken him out. Romaganoli, I think he's going off here. Maybe... Is the ref going to send him off? Yep. Ah, oh, that's really frustrating as well. A suspension for Romagnoli. Not like the best of centre backs. Maybe it'll give a chance for Frigorito to uh, work his way into the first team lineup. We'll see. So he's going to have to defend this free kick, and he's just mashed it over. Full time whistle there. A really frustrating game. We got the suspension, of course, and their goal was in like the first minutes, and then they just pretty much part the ball, so held the possession quite a bit. We had really good chances and we should have put them away but we just we just didn't and it's just really frustrating when that kind of things happens luckily we've got manchester city against uh, chelsea so they might lose as well obviously uh Eunice is going to be out for seven days so that's not too bad at least it's not like a month or anything serious so gonna have to make a couple of changes in the next game of course with those injuries we have dropped down to six in the table still only a few points off top so maybe we could get the title this season but with the finishing from that last game, I very much doubt it. So we're going to go into the squad report now and see what our players' growth is looking like. You might have seen just there on the left that a few have had grown. So, Sillison has gone up to an 80, which is absolutely fantastic. Obviously, Butland was a 74 when we left. Um, so he's still only six ratings off. So I think um, bringing in Sillison, he's got five clean sheets in the nine games he has played. Um, both clean sheets in the Euro League, which is really good to see. Only three in the Prem though, so that's a bit concerning. Maybe he needs to pick up his game in the Prem. So Durian, not quite grown yet, but he's just a really quality player. He's not really needed to grow. Uh, Callas is in bad form, unfortunately. He's still growing though. He's uh, got a couple of stats going up there. Um, Roma Ganoli not moved at all. Still, after um, loaning him out, it's a little bit of a shame. Mings has gone up to a 71, which is fantastic. But he's only gone up by like attacking position and interceptions, which is... Not the best, I would prefer like a bit of pace and a bit of tackling, but Hughes has gone up to a 76, he might have done that when we ended the uh, transfer window, but it's still nice as he's growing. Um, ucan has gone up by one, obviously his stats aren't moving. Goretzka, his uh, interceptions and um, attacking positioning, attacking positioning of 88 for a right mid, that's actually really good, so um, yeah, hopefully he can grow by the end of the season. Brady, obviously going up quite a bit, he's up to a 74 now in excellent form. He's only got three goals and one assist in nine games, which isn't anything amazing, but he's doing very well in the cup. Unfortunately, his league performance isn't quite as good, so maybe he can pick that up. Eunice, just look at those stats. Ridiculously good um, attributes. Um, 
strength and interceptions and obviously marking and tackling and stuff like that they're going to be low but apart from that it's all over like 75 so really good to see abubakar has gone up by two um dribbling and uh, ball control they really need to go up 74 dribbling is absolutely woeful i i am really tempted to swap him because he's only got two goals in nine games that is that is dreadful 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 so we need to potentially consider bringing in um ings into the first team lineup haven't really played that many games with Figueredo, mainly in the cup and one in the prem he's obviously going to play the next game Deli Ali has grown by two which is fantastic really nice decision to sell Hendrik for three million bring him in for 1.5 he is a bit of a boring one but at the same time not many people use it because he's normally like a 55 rater but as we are so far into this career mode he's grown quite a bit so that's really nice to see really good ball control and dribbling on him Brignoli, just a really nice goalkeeper, two clean sheets in two games in the Capital One Cup. So into the game we go against Hull City, I've just realised that we've got both Ince and Brady of course. Um, obviously we've started with Brady this game because Ince hasn't really been in that good form. We didn't really have the best of performances from Brady in the last game, but it was against Arsenal so it's a little bit unfair. Unfortunately this game is in the rain, which I do detest on this game quite a bit, it is a bit of a shame. but. Nevertheless, I think we should do quite nicely against Hull. They are in the bottom three. They have got the new goalkeeper, Kraft. I think they've had him for quite a while. They might have been a club that's been promoted from the championship um, only just. So they might have a bit of a weaker team. So here's their lineup. They've got Liam Rossinho. They're actually uh, released in real life. Uh, Davis, Clark, who's quite low rated. Livermore, the army. The army's quite a good one in the midfield. Sagbo and Mdoy, both really powerful strikers. They've got Mayuka on the bench and Tom Huddleston. So. Obviously a former Derby player, Tom Alston. So, into the Derby County lineup for today, we have uh, made uh, two changes, I think. We've got Danny Ings and Figueredo coming into the side. I don't know what's happened to Abubakar. He's got two goals in nine games. That is absolutely terrible. Um, so, I think with this lineup, we should be able to get a good result against Hull in the ring. Yeah, I think he's gone down injured. So, we're going to make a substitution here. Take you can off. We're going to bring on, I think, Deli Ali, because he's a bit more attackive than... Um, Taliso there, I do really like Taliso, but he's more for the cup, and um, yeah, hopefully we can get something, actually no, well, I'm going to book Goretzka at CDM, and bring on uh, Tom Ince, because I think he can get something in this game, and we'll probably save Deli Ali for the uh, second half, I think that'll be a lot more effective, seeing uh, Goretzka at CDM, that'll be nice to know, um, not exactly the biggest of opponents Hall, so I think we'll be able to get the result and be able to test out Goretzka. Actually giving away a free kick here in the 90th plus 5, we don't want to give this 0-0 um, away, like, it's away from home to be fair, no, oh my, oh, how lucky, Di like, maybe you should have scored the diving header, like, that was unlucky not to score that, but, oh, the, the volley hit, that hit the post, but the diving header, like, nobody marking Stephen Quinn, and he's actually been released in real life, so are we going to lose? Yeah, we're going to lose against Hull. That, that is the most frustrating thing ever. Like, we were way more dominant in the game. Technically, on the stats, Hull were. But I just, I just felt we could have easily won that game. But in the rain, I'm just terrible. So, massive three points drop there. That's probably going to drop us down to about 10th in the table, maybe. But our next game is against um, Moscow in the... Europa League, it's only five days for you can, that's not too bad. So hopefully in Europe we can do a bit better. It's the game we go against Lokomotiv Moscow. I think it is Moscow anyway, I could be completely wrong and it might be like, I don't know, St. Petersburg or something, but I think it is Lokomotiv Moscow. So let's go into the game. We are currently top in the table, so that's that's nice to know. At least we're doing well in Europe and um, with this win it should cement the top position for us. Obviously we have to play the teams again, but... I think we've got the better end of the stick um, in the second half because I think we've got more home games. So obviously in the home kit, we're gonna make um, we're gonna drop Yukan just because he's just come back. We're gonna put Taliso in. We're gonna actually play. Uh, we're gonna put, try Romagan early and Figueredo. That's that's a combination I haven't tried yet. And um, I don't know, Abubakar like two in nine. It's just terrible. But Ings didn't exactly do too well last game, so. Mm, do we try Hoffman? I think Abubakar's got his last chance against Moscow. And then I'm definitely going to sell him if um, he doesn't do too well. Let's have a look at the lineups today. We have uh, put Figueredo in for uh, Kalas in the defence. And we've kept with Abubakar up front. Now, 
it's pretty much his last chance. He's just been terrible recently. Put Tolisso at CDM as well, as he's a bit more defensive, and um, that should uh, stop us from conceding more goals. So here is the lineup of uh, Locomotive, and um, that goalkeeper is actually quite good. Gilly, Gilly Home, I think that's his name anyway. Uh, Busafa, he's very good. Fernandez, it's actually quite a difficult team. Dennis Sov and Shaw Luca, quite good. I think Dennis Sov is a CDM. I'm not too sure. Maybe maybe I'm completely wrong. But anyway, I think Aurea is going to whip it in. Here we go, Goretzka. You, yes, there we go, Buka. Fantastic that he's got a goal because he's, he's just not really scored that many recently. And um, he seems to get in the cup. So that's kind of good because it means we're going to go through in the cup. But in the league, we need to do a bit better because we need to obviously qualify for the Champions League next year because that's the target for the season. Um, kind of got a bit lucky, maybe... Um, like they could have cleared it a bit better, but nevertheless, first goal in the Euro League. I think his other two goals are in the Capital One, maybe FA Cup. I'm not too sure, but yeah, we're one 0 up, so that's all good. Lucky there, and um, maybe we can get a goal for ourselves here. Maybe not if he's getting tripped up. Surely, there we go. Good free kick. There we go. What? It's half time. So I do all that work down the right, and then um, win the free kick on the edge of the box. Very dangerous area. Now we're going to do half time now, no worries mate. But yeah, at least we're one nil up, that's nice to see. We could do with a bit more possession and um, yeah, just be a bit more in the game. Here we go, Talisa has gone on a good run here. Come on, ball in. Abubakar, oh he's missed the bloody head there. I'm going to sell him off now because he's had, he's had enough. <laughs> he's, he's got a bit of a lucky goal. I think it wasn't exactly like his goal, but uh, we're going to... Um, bring on Lingard, he hasn't actually had a game in a while and um, I'm going to actually change the formation because I want to try something else we've kind of got this game in the bag and um, I think just trying something different may just unlock what we need in this game I'm thinking maybe a false 9, you know yeah, let's try that here we go, come on Goretzka be yes, he's onside I'm just going to mash this as hard as I can and it's just gone up. He's like not put it in a corner. He's just, it's just gone up. But maybe he can head it in. Yes, he can. There we go. That was a little bit lucky. It was a nice cross from Danny Ings. But that's what the false nine does. It brings the wingers a bit more in, like a bit more involved. So I think it could be good for Goretzka. I might consider though playing him in centre mid. But this ball from Ings, look at that. Just lovely. Whipped in. Killed the game off. And um, that was the three points. So that is a really vital goal in uh, getting through to the next round <gasps> no come on Solicent no oh, why have I done that I was just talking about goal difference and then I go and uh, do that I don't know why I do it I don't know why I just don't want to concede now and make it 2-2 two -two. that would be dreadful there he goes blown straight away so ooh, a bit of a weight off my shoulders so Technically through to the next round, I think that's why the players were celebrating. We'll have to have a look at the table in a second. Um, so our next game is against Southampton in the league. It should be an interesting one because we've just played that game against uh, Locomotive. So player fitness is going to be a slight issue in this game. Um, might actually have to play a Booba car, which I don't know. I don't know if I want to, but I'm going to actually play the Faults 9 in this game. It is very similar to the original formation. We've just uh, dropped the striker a bit deeper, but... Maybe maybe playing this, that original formation, um, like the Derby County default. I think I think we will. Yeah, I think we'll go back to our roots and um, maybe that's what we need in this game. And I think we'll play a Booba card just because it is a different formation. So into the game we go against Southampton. Obviously it is in the league. We just played that game in the Europa League. So fitness wise we're not doing too well. They are currently third in the league. We are in ninth. We need to win because we've lost our last two games just to get back on form and uh, up the league a bit more so made quite a few changes for this game as uh, fitness was a bit of an issue we've got an interesting lineup we're playing the uh, original 4-3-3 that Derby do play with a bit of a DM and um, I think it could do a little bit better than what we're currently playing it'll just make it a bit better defensively and going forward the uh, wingers will be pushed on a bit more so that'll give them a bit of a chance to get involved a bit more so here's the lineup we've got um, Gambin coming in, we've got Egali or I or whatever his name is, I'm still absolutely bamboozled about what his name is. Um, Tomic on the right, Yunus on the left, Abubakar down the middle, Deli Ali coming in the centre mid position. So yeah, it's, it's, it's fresh, so maybe it'll make a bit of a difference in this game. So in goal we've got Gazaniga, we've got Klein, we've got Gardos, uh, 
Taggart, Yoshida, Davis, Schneidlin, Ward Prowse, Tadic, Ramirez, and Ezekiel. Now, that Ezekiel guy will be very dangerous, so that's why I've played um, Edgar I or Laio. I was going to play um, Van Aken, but pace wise, Edgar has got really good pace, so that'll do quite nicely. Go on, Abubakar, win the edit. Yes! How was that good in? That is ridiculous. <laughs> He's been in, like, a really frustrating form at the moment. Like, you'll get a goal in a vital game, and then he just won't do anything. It was a bit, little bit lucky, like, the clearance from Tadic went off Schneidlin, but that header was crazy. Maybe the keeper could have done a bit better, but three goals in ten games now, I think, maybe eleven. Still not that good, so he needs to definitely pick up his form. If he can get a couple in this game, I'll definitely consider starting him in the next one. We'll see. I think... Oh, no. Oh, go on, Abubakar. Control. Getting that space, cut back, finesse. There we go, too. There we go. Back on form. That's what we wanted for him. I think just like um, sticking him in the reserves for that game, just it made him realise that he's not as good as he thinks he is. And um, it's just gave him a reality check. So that's obviously got us a second in the game and uh, doubled his goals for the season. No. Oh, fuck. He's <laughs> just giving him a penalty there. So. I like trying to concentrate and then it's just <laughs> take him out. Only the yellow, so that's kind of lucky. It could have potentially been a red, but um, yeah, we scored a couple of goals very quickly, and it's maybe due to the formation change, but um, yeah, then I do something silly like that. Didn't really need to do it, but at the same time, felt I could win the tackle, but obviously not. And um, now Jasper Sillison is going to make a very good save. I'm not too sure which way. I'm going to tell him this way. I think he's, yeah, oh, we went the right way as well. That's really frustrating when you die the right way. But then he doesn't save it. Like, I've done all I can. But obviously the penalty was just too good. And um, Southampton have got themselves back in the game. Here we go, Bubacar. There we go, hat-trick. I think that's like, is that a hat-trick? What happened there? So was it going over and then the keepers save? caused it to go down and now it's gone down and it has an eager own goal that's a little bit weird kind of I don't know kind of a boo boo cars hat trick but at least with 3-1 up that shows that this formation change goal wise it's done fantastically we just need to stop ourselves doing silly mistakes like giving away penalties so I think that's actually a really good first half and I'm probably gonna see it end in a sec no way no, no, no. How is he? I, I just didn't think that would be anything like... I was going to say, oh, they've won a free kick here. But it's like 40 yards out or something. He's just going to mash that in and got himself back into the game again. So let's just watch this back. Because that, I was, I was like dazed out. I was like, oh, nothing's happening here. But clearly something was. So let's just watch this. Did it go through the wall? Did I even jump the wall? Didn't drum the wall. I think it went wide at the wall anyway. Sillison. Come on, you saw that from a mile off. It did go quite fast, I must say. But still. Can we get a goal straight from kickoff? Tom Ince. Hit it. Oh, a, that is a save from Gazaniga. I'll give him that. That was a very, very good save. Here we go. Abubakar is taking it past him. We're going to put this out wide to Ince. Go on, finish some. There we go. Beautiful. 4-2. Nail in the coffin, three points on the board, and um, that's what we needed. We needed the win, and we got it, so that's fantastic. Nice to see Abubakar get the assist as well as um, two slash three goals. It's, it's been a really nice game for him. Come on, Abubakar again, can straight from kickoff. Just Taliso breaks it up. There we go. He's got his hat trick. That's that's what I really wanted, like a proper hat trick, not that like own goal. I don't know why it was a known goal, but oh well. Technically got four goals and um, technically contributed towards every single goal in this game. And that's what we wanted from him. Uh, maybe this formation's just unlocked him because, of course, it's got three goals and um, he had two goals before this game. And there's the full-time whistle. Fantastic performance from Abubakar. That's definitely what we wanted from him. 9.5 rating, uh, three goals, one assist. Um, it, I don't know how that was an assist, the one to ints, but... Yeah, he's contributed towards all three goals, and um, I think this formation's just unlocked his potential, and um, it's weird, like, one moment I'm like, 
adamant I'm going to sell him in the window, but now he's he's trying to change it. And um, yeah, our next game is against Huddersfield. That will be the first one of episode number 31. So looking at the Premier League table, we are fifth in the table. That's where we need to be. That is exactly um, where any six, um, eight points off top. That's that's a bit annoying. But I think as long as we get top four, which is only like three, four points away. I'm more than happy getting top four. I'm not too bothered about the title. That's what I mainly want to get. And um, yeah, three three losses against Arsenal. Hull, we probably should have won against, but they were losing quite a few games. Obviously, they built up quite a bit of um, emotion. So yeah, if you did enjoy this episode, it'd be fantastic. If you could smash over 20 likes, fantastic support on this series. Subscribe if you're on this channel and see you soon. Bye.